but after a couple of seconds, I like fully woke up and realized that I was puking in my hands and putting it on the floor in front of me. Hello there, beautiful people, and welcome to this channel of mine. My name is Lilia Ayenbay, and I am one year sober. Yeah, you know, alcohol isn't really beneficial for your body, and I knew that all along, but anyway, anyhow, I wanted to try it, just like most young people want to. And I was actually sober, I hadn't drank any alcohol up till I was 20, because in Sweden we have these regulations that you can't buy uh, alcohol in a store before you're 20, uh, which I didn't. Uh, even though I had friends and like uh, siblings of friends who could maybe buy for me, I didn't feel the interest for trying alcohol since it's not good for your body. Um, and also I was uh, really Christian at that time. But that all changed when I, <laughs> when I graduated from high school, uh, when I was 18. So then I started to go uh, to study music full time uh, at a thing we call Folkhögskola. Maybe it's called like university or something, even though it's not at a uh, university. So I studied music for two years there, and my second year, the last month or last weeks, I decided that, yeah, I think I want to know what it feels like to be drunk. <laughs> And my friends were all like hyped about it and like, yeah, go do it. We'll we'll buy shots for you. And we made a thing out of it. Out of it. And uh, yeah, it was kind of cool, I think. I thought anyway. And from there it just went on. I was drinking like maybe one, a couple of times a week or even more sometimes, depending on what I was doing. But... I think at least once a week and it was not like just one glass of wine or something it was actually I think I got at least maybe not super drunk but somewhat drunk uh, at least once a week for let's see now three and a half years and every time I had been drinking as many people do I said okay never again and you know how it goes so, somehow you always end up there again and you're drunk and lying in, in bed and thinking oh my god tomorrow what what am I gonna do and you wake up the next morning with headaches and maybe you throw up uh, if you didn't do that the night before <laughs> and a couple of times I I've had such bad he headache and it came back even though it was like days after I've been drinking so it was like in my system like <laughs> walking around and coming up now and then and it didn't make me feel very good and of course the stomach it all it went all crazy when especially the day, day after but even a couple of days after uh, since alcohol is toxic and it destroys like all the bacteria so when did I come to my senses and <laughs> stop, stop drinking alcohol for once yeah, it was uh, back in uh, the end of July last year when I had been playing at this festival. This, it's uh, when I had been playing at this festival that's held in this town, and I had the honor to play in the house band of this uh, festival or this uh, sing along night. So uh, I was in this band, and then after we had played. We got invited to the green room or something, uh, which was at our hotel. And there were so many beverages. Two, like, cartons of beer, 33 centimeters, um, with 5% alcohol. Two of them, so it was about maybe 50 cans. And then champagne or, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, also, like, 20 bottles, which we shared on maybe... 15 to 20 people so that was the pre-party uh, and it, it all was free so I 
I drank a lot and then we went out for the after party uh, of this festival where we had a reserved area, like a green room in this uh, club where we went. And there were also free alcohol. alcohol. And I thought, I thought that I shouldn't have any more, but you know, you're drunk and stupid. And I took some more, maybe one cider and maybe a beer. So it wasn't very much more, but anyway, I got so damn drunk. Um, and uh, yeah, around three or half past three in the night, I decided that I should walk home, which I did. So I started to walk home and I live maybe two kilometers from the town or uh, and the center where the festival is. And it takes about 25 minutes to walk, but it took me about 45 minutes to walk because I couldn't walk straight and I had to take off my shoes because my feet were sore. And yeah, so I walked barefoot in the summer evening, summer night, summer morning, uh, and it was beautiful. That in itself was a nice experience, but I couldn't walk straight. And I, when I got home and woke up the next morning, I thought like, what if somebody would have chased me or walked behind me or and wanted to do something to me. I couldn't have defended myself for for nothing. <laughs> it was I was so out. I I don't even think I remember the whole walk home. So anyway I luckily got home uh, without any damage to myself except for the alcohol <laughs> of course and uh, I had saved some leftovers for for this particular moment when I got home and like opened the fridge and was like, yay, I got food. So I started to put, put the food in my mouth. <laughs> I don't want to call it eat. And I guess I watched, watched something on YouTube. And then I fell asleep. And waking up like this, in this motion. And I didn't really realize what was going on. <laughs> but, but after a couple of seconds, I like fully woke up and realized that I was puking in my hands and putting it on the floor in front of me and up on my table. <laughs> so I ran, ran off to the bathroom where I finished my business and then there was a lot of cleaning to be done. I can tell. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then I felt like, okay, this is probably the last time for a while that I drink. And it went on, uh, the time went on. And I didn't drink up till the 1st of October uh, last year, when uh, me and my boyfriend had our one year anniversary. Um, and then a friend from an island between uh, Finland and Sweden called Olaf took some beer with him from where he had worked uh, that summer at a brewery. And yeah, he brought that beer. It was like, I don't know, 50 centiliter bottles and about, 5% alcohol. So we, all three of us, split those three and it was like a taste uh, taste event or something. And that's the last actual beer I drank. And it was now a few days more than a year ago, which is so awesome. Like, I'm pretty much, uh, I'm pretty much clean now. And in the beginning, I was feeling like even feeling the smell of it could make me like put off uh, but eventually when when school began again and the parties were on and everybody was drinking except for me or <laughs> of course there's a, there's always other people who doesn't drink but the most common thing is that you drink of course and uh, yeah i started feeling a bit left out uh, not that anybody like pushed me away or something but like only for social reasons, I guess. And uh, I stopped going to parties and ended up spending a lot of time home. Not that I felt sad or something, but it, feel, I, it felt like I didn't have that kind of connection to people anymore because the common ground was the alcohol, which I don't sympathize at all with. Uh, and then one day it hit me. I was thinking or remembering the times when you were little and invited to 
party with, with your friends because somebody had a birthday. And then you always had a good time without alcohol. And I wanted to get back to that uh, specific feeling without having alcohol in my blood. Of course, when you were little, you were sugar kicked all the time because there were like cakes and cookies and candy and all kinds of things. But it was still this feeling of pure happiness and you liked hanging out with your friends and it was like unconditional it was depending on on the cookies and stuff it was like you were there to meet people and i wanted to achieve that feeling again so i set my goal that i wouldn't drink anything before i had that feeling coming back to me which i haven't had really yet <laughs> or it's it's starting to to crawl back to me and the more i'm getting that feeling naturally i just want to resist alcohol even more because it doesn't serve me and and there are just so many benefits to it i mean you don't get the hangover and you save a lot of money because you don't buy alcohol every week and it costs a lot of money at least here in sweden because we have extra taxes for it which is a good thing and you can always drive a car it's not that you have to depend on somebody else to come and pick you up somewhere when you're out in the wherever you're planning to drink and you take care so much more care of your body not that i am like uh the person who exercises a lot and like always eat the good foods and everything but anyway i don't like forcing forcing my body to be intoxicated by by something i think that's a pretty important thing with uh, not drinking alcohol. It doesn't benefit your body in any way. It only damages and destroys and takes away, especially the day after. Even though the rush might be a bit of an endorf endorphin kick. But it's so strange also with, with alcohol because it's so, so, like, it's so addictive. There are so many cases of young people who are actually alcoholists without even knowing it and addicted to this drug actually and i mean if if alcohol would have been invented today it wouldn't be legal but it's just that it's so so deep inside our culture today that it exists at all same thing with sugar and caffeine and all these uh, drugs that are legal but they are even more dangerous than the illegal drugs. But there are also medical drugs, which could actually benefit benefit the body if uh, they are used in the right way. And a big reason why they forbid certain drugs and and allow certain others that actually damages the body is probably oh I say they I mean those who set the rules. It's probably because they earn a lot of money on the sick people who needs help to overcome these uh, addictions and the, the diseases that follows. And yeah, they earn a lot of money on taking care of these people. Um, which is such a messed up thing. Uh, like taking from the really weak people instead of just helping them not falling into those addictions uh, by making those really dangerous drugs illegal. So now for the scary part. I consider myself being sober from alcohol for a year now, but this weekend I actually uh, tried some alcohol-free beer. And I was like, yeah, why not? So I bought a beer and then I read on the, on the label of the flask that it actually contained 0.5% alcohol. So I had alcohol, but on the other hand, alcohol is something that occurs naturally when something is fermenting and yeah, it, it comes up with the process. So I think maybe I, I've had some alcohol when I've eaten something that's a bit overripe, a fruit that's a bit overripe, uh, or when I've had 
bread and fruit and in the stomach it may produce some alcohol and so 0 0.5 I don't think that's really a problem but mentally <laughs> it it really feels like I'm a bit ashamed somehow like oh couldn't I have checked that before and because you trust the label when it says alcohol free it should be alcohol free right um, but anyway, I'm clean. <laughs> I, I, I come up with that to you. So, you know, I'm sorry, alcohol-free, but I had these, these alcohol-free beers. And I will check the labels even more in the future. So I learned something from it. But okay, let's say I'm one year sober and uh, I feel great, just great. If you feel like something is having you down or like you're actually addicted to have it, then get rid of it because it's gradually taking over your life. <clears throat> I don't really say that I was a really heavy alcoholist, but, but I could very well have fallen into it. And I'm so glad that something made me draw myself back from it and like change course. So that's my little story about becoming free from alcohol. And uh, I really like to hear from you guys if, if you have experienced something similar or maybe you're struggling with overcoming an addiction. If you are, then I really encourage you to take control over your own life and, and free yourself because you should be in control of your life. Not everything around, not anybody else, only you. Please comment down below if you have any comments or questions to me uh, or comments about the video or anything and if you're not subscribed yet then click the subscribe button down there i wish you a wonderful rest of your day or evening or anything and i wish to see you here again on this channel anyway thank you so much for stepping by peace and love to you all bye